Take a look at this fresh cut grass, a cleaned up front porch and come with me. The backyard also nearly free of litter. This after neighbors made dozens of 311 calls about this house and then they called us and the city took this property owner to court. Here's what this property used to look like. On your side, we brought these images to Columbus City leaders. We could go down the list of violations um, in the Columbus City Code that these properties are violating. This month, the city took the property owner, C.E. Brown Holdings LTD, to court. According to these records, the property owner was hit with a $1,000 fine in court that day and could face $500 fines daily if the property doesn't continue meeting standards. After court, city attorney Zach Klein told us his team will monitor this home and won't hesitate taking further action. We really can't thank you enough because it, it, it is uh, sometimes does take a little bit of a spotlight on an issue to get action done. Take a look at this. We found 311 calls dating back to 2014 about this property. Complaints about squatter, solid waste and prostitute activity. I could take you down every single street and we could find a dump in the back and we could find out that that property has been sitting vacant for for five, six, eight, 12 years. A widespread solution could be on the way. This month, Columbus City Council passing legislation for a vacant property registry. What do you think about that type of registry? Do you think that will work? I have a uh, great hope in that it will. I can make list all day. I can check it twice, but but if the list doesn't have any actual teeth to it, where does that? What does the result from that? Time will tell. A Columbus City Council spokesperson told me that registry will go live next year. In the meantime, Carr says she's going to enjoy seeing the results here on South Harris Avenue after calling our on your site team. He actually had to come out here and clean this lot property a little bit and pay attention to it. I mean, I hope he maintains that, but we'll call you guys if he doesn't. Over the last week, I have sent multiple emails and made phone calls to the attorney who represents this property owner. I'll let you know when I hear back. On your side in the hilltop, I'm Kate Seifert, ABC 6 News.